Hey guys, a lot of you have been asking how to use the save editor and how to modify weapons, so on and so forth. So I'm going to make a, hopefully a quick tutorial on how to do that. Now I don't have a uh, capture card for my 3DS, so I'm going to be using the webcam, so it's going to be moving around some, but try to follow along, we'll see what we can do. So first thing I'm going to do is walk you through on the few things you need in order to do this. You're going to need the save editor, of course, the save manager to be able to export your save file, and then the homebrew to run that save manager. So first thing I'm going to do is walk you how to get the actual homebrew on there and how to use the save manager because those are going to be the first steps. Now I'll provide links to all this inside the description of the video. That won't be a problem. So the first thing you're going to need is this homebrew website, homebrew launcher. Easiest one to use is going to be YouTube. It's going to be two packs. Um, so what you're going to need is going to need to first prepare your SD card. Click on prepare your SD card. There's going to be an option here to download a homebrew starter kit. You're going to download it, you're going to open it, it's going to have a few different files in it. Now in order to get this on your 3DS you have two options. You can either remove your SD card, plug it into the computer, and do it that way. If you can't do that, then what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and um, going to go ahead and just use the built-in 3DS micromanager on the computer. So you're just going to go ahead and uh, hook it up to the internet and go from there, which I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to scroll up come around here. So to use the default one, you're going to go into just to the system settings. You're going to go to data management, micro SD management, at this point, it's already been set up, it's not asking me, but it's going to ask you for a few different bits of information, like your computer name, um, things like that. If you're running Windows, of course, that will be under the properties for my computer, it'll show the name there and everything there. So once you have that set up, I'm already connected here. So now if I go to my computer and go to networks, my 3DS is named dark, so it's going to show up here. PC hitter. So you're going to micro SD, and as you can see, I've already moved the files there. But you would just copy all these files into the root of your SD card. So you'd have, should I think by default you'll have just the Nintendo 3DS one there and then when you copy it over you'll have the 3DS boot 3DS X and then the game config. Once those are copied over there you're gonna have to also download the save manager. When you download the save manager it's gonna automatically come up it's not going to go to a website, it's just going to download. And it's going to be called 3DS. Open that folder, take the save manager, and just copy it into the 3DS folder. So as you can see, I have save manager, everything else here. Once you have the save manager in there, and the two packs, everything set up in there, your next step is going to be to actually go and run the two packs. Now, once you finish, you're going to disconnect. If you're doing it this way, that is, if you're using just a regular SD card, just remove and re-enter it. And go back all the way out to the main screen of the 3DS. Now, before you actually do anything with this, you're going to want to make sure that YouTube is downloaded and that you have opened it and ran it and made sure that all its updates and that way it's actually working. If you just download it and don't open it and don't actually install it, it will not work. So you need to do that beforehand. So in order to get this to work, I'm going to go back to the homebrew page. It's going to ask you to do a couple things here. 
So you're going to go to your settings again. You're going to go to the internet settings, connection settings. You're now going to select whatever home Wi-Fi you're using that you're currently on. Go to change settings, one page to the right, DNS, and you're set to no. Once you hit no, detailed setup should ungray out because default it's on yes. So you're going to click no, detailed setup. Now the primary DNS you're going to enter automatically. By default it's going to be all zeros. So what you're going to enter is what you see on the screen here, 107.211.140.065. Once that's done, so then you're going to click OK, click OK again, save, click OK. I always do don't test. Go back, 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 close. All right, now you're going to open YouTube. Now when YouTube opens up, it's going to kind of glitch out on the bottom of the screen here. If it opens successfully, sometimes it does not open successfully, so if it doesn't, just try it again. Okay, it's going to come up with choose firmware version. If you click this a lot of times, it doesn't happen. Sometimes it'll pop up in the middle of the screen with the actual firmware version. Now, it's important you select the right firmware version. Um, you'll have to look to see what yours is under the settings if you don't know it already. But then once you have the right firmware version, it's going to pop up with this menu. The one we care about is going to be the very bottom one. It's going to be the Save Manager. If you, highlight the, if you click the Save Manager, it's going to come up with a whole bunch of different options. You can go left and right to pick your game. So I want Monster Hunter. I'm going to click A. On the top screen, it's going to come up with this option. Backup, save, and ex exit. You're going to press A to back up your save file. Simple as that. It backed up. I'm going to press X. It's going to close. Back to the homebrew menu. Click start, click A. And it's going to exit out. Now, if for example, if you're on a European system, by default, the firmware selected is going to be 10.0 and then US. If you need to change that and it doesn't give you the option to change it or clicking change does not work, there is one thing you can do. When you're opening up YouTube, YouTube hacks, as soon as that change firmware pops up, you're going to click it and click the down arrow. Click down. So that was, I clicked the touch screen and then clicked the down arrow quickly as soon as it popped up, which brought up the option to choose the firmware version. Click the firmware version. Now you see all of them here. I have USA new, so that's the one I would select. So if you have something different, you're either going to USA you scroll down, there's all sorts of different ones, European and the US. So you're going to select whichever one is proper to your device. If you don't, it won't work. So you just need to make sure you select the right one. Once you select the right one, it's going to come out to the screen, load up again. I don't even know if I picked one on that one, so it may bug out. Well, I think it froze because I probably picked the wrong firmware version on accident because, like I said, I wasn't actually picking one, and so it froze. So I'm going to reboot 
my uh, 3DS and then I can continue from there on the next video because that's all we need to do on the uh, on the actual 3DS side as far as now we are done with that everything else is going to be on the computer until we have to import that save file so I'll continue on the next video after I reboot my 3DS here